Hey guys, welcome to my channel and my journey. So I wanted to show you my OPKs for last cycle. I still haven't gotten my cycle this month, but they, my period trackers have been saying that it's going to start within the next few days, which hopefully it does because I just be wanting to eat everything in sight. And I've been getting like horrible acne, like it is so bad so bad but hopefully I get my period but these are the OPKs I am trying um, you get 50 OPKs and 20 pregnancy tests and I got this from Amazon for like 15 bucks um, let me say um a lot so I did my OPKs from day 11 through day I really did it from day 20 but I was getting discouraged so I decided not to write it down so I've um, the first of two days I only did one but other than that I did two a day and literally I got almost the same result the whole time which I don't know if that was my body or if it was the OPKs but I really think it was my body because I had no um, CM I had no cramping no nothing um, and I I didn't I literally it was I felt no different but so I don't think I ovulated and why I don't think I ovulated is because I didn't have my period for two to three months and now I finally got my period so maybe just my body just doesn't know how to do it yet or what but that's why I want to talk to you guys today about my vitamins but first I want to talk about I about my not my doctor's appointment but I called my doctor because a month and a half or, or so, I went to the doctor and she confirmed that I had PCOS and I had a, um, a ultrasound for my ovaries and of course I do have cysts on my ovaries and I asked her like, is this going to prevent me? What should I do? Basically she said of course lose weight, walk. I lost 5 pounds so that was good. Little but good. Um, so I told her that I did lose weight and she said that was great and she said you know you have to keep trying till you hit a year which I have like three months then I'll hit a year and then she said after that then you can go to a fertility doctor. So I asked her about metformin and she said that since I'm not insulin resistant that she doesn't know if it would be beneficial for me to get on it. So. For now, I'm not on it, but who knows when I, if I will need to go to a fertility doctor and, and whatnot and see what they say. So I wanted to do you, do you, <laughs> I wanted to show you my vitamins. So these are some TTT, TTC vitamins and then some just regular vitamins I need to take. So these are my first ones. This is my um, glucosamine, and I do this for my joints because on my dad's side of the family, they have very, very bad joints, and so I'm just trying to prevent this. And um, I like crack a lot. My knees crack, my ankles crack, and my elbows crack a lot. So I just try to do that just to hopefully prevent whatever is going to happen in the future. Um, zinc for my hair and for fertility, I know. Um, so zinc and then biotin for my hair because my hair is super thin. It doesn't look thin because I have like a, just a little extension in but my hair like my ponytail is like literally that big. It's so small but so biotin and biotin does break me out I think so maybe that's the reason I'm breaking out. I don't know. And then iron of course. Um, so I am vitamin B deficiency, so I take 2,500 milligrams each day. And then I'm vitamin D deficiency a little bit, so I've been taking this. So these are more my fertility, um, vitamins. So, of course, I've been, t been taking Vitex. So Vitex, I think, gave me my period once, so I'm, so I took... I took these three times a day to get my period and then once I got it and then I got off my period I started taking them twice a day but now I'm going to start doing it three times a day so it kind of gets my period going again hopefully 
So I'll update you on that. But I'm like, I'm like, hope this is like my miracle vitamin. Um, and then I've been doing my prenatals, of course, every day, constantly. So these are my two new ones that I'm going to add. I'm going to add evening primrose oil and insulot. It's a lot. I don't know how to say it. I don't know. So these two, I'm going to try this next cycle. So I know I'm not pregnant, so I've been taking one of these a day. But I am going to start when I start my period. I'm going to do it three times a day for 10 days. Because they say don't use it when you're ovulating. Because it can um, make you almost... I don't know if it's like cramping where it will almost prevent you or give you miscarriages so I don't want that so I'm going to try to do this for 10 days and I don't think there's any side effects to this with pregnancy I don't believe which I should check but I'm going to start this as well so I've been kind of taking these once a day till I get my period and I'm going to up it so those are my vitamins I've been taking and I'm going to start taking so hopefully you subscribe and hang along with me on my journey me and my husband's journey but you know what? I don't know if you guys TTC with PCOS if you guys feel like it is your own journey. Because it's like with my husband, it's he doesn't have to do all this. He just has to when I tell him to do it, then we do it, you know? But it really I'm so glad that I have this now community. I talk to people on Facebook almost every day about PCOS and trying to conceive and I have just learned so much and thank you guys for being along with me so yes so next video coming up whenever anything happens <laughs> so bye guys thank you for watching